no secret Wild West Dynasty had a terrible launch. The reviews were shocking and the disappointment was high. A couple of years later, Moonpunch Studio are returning with an overhaul game. So what can we expect from Wild West Dynasty version 1? And what does this mean for you? If you have the game already or you are looking at getting the game. By coming out of early access and going into version 1, the devs, Moonpunch Studio, are making a bold statement. This version of the game is the version they want it to be. The game will be released or re-released, however you want to say it, on the 22nd of August. From that date onwards, we will be playing Wild West Dynasty as Moonpunch intended. The good news is that if you already own the game, you won't need to purchase a new copy. I doubt they could convince anyone to spend more cash anyway. I wouldn't buy it again. You will need to start with a fresh save. I'm not sure how many still play the game. Let me know in the comments if you do, or if you abandon the game. I personally haven't played it in months. I don't even think I've played it in 2024. Now as with the other Dynasty games, it will be single player only, with an eye on possibly introducing co-op down the line. Don't forget, Medieval Dynasty took years to get co-op. There will be a brand new storyline, Gone is the search for your uncle or the family's secrets or whatever it was. It never felt fully fleshed out and I'm not even sure they had an ending in mind. Looking at the playtest, the story this time is one of your wagon trailers betrayed you. Whereas originally you and your mum were hit by raiders. But you can even skip the story if you want and go do your own thing. Build a trading centre, spread your influence by building settlements and trade routes and ensure your dynasty will live on. The dynasty bit wasn't even included in the game when it first released, so hopefully that's been added on. The game is promising seasons like the other dynasty games. The playtest began in winter. They put some artwork on Steam to show how it looks. It looks really good, to be fair. But anyway, having said that, you know, artwork and in-game, we'd have to wait and see. They've changed the gameplay mechanics, adding things such as research to learn your crafting. And the farming system has had a complete overhaul. They have also recently announced a reputation system. Your actions will be judged by the NPCs in the game. There may be resource management elements as you handle resources between your settlements and the in-game towns. And obviously you've got the exploration and gathering that most survival games have. I'm hoping that they've made the settlers more dynamic and they move and do things, rather than simply standing there like last time. If you think back to Medieval Dynasty, they actually go to the place of work and do some work. The animations there and stuff. I'm sure there's a lot more to come in the game and we don't have long to wait to check it all out. Let's hope version 1 can get the game back on track and put it up there with Medieval and Sengo Sengoku dynasties. At the minute, it is the unwanted redhead stepchild. No offence to redheads. <laughs> or stepkids.